Well, hello, it's Great Southern Ancient Miniature Man here, just with a review of the many different amazing ancient elephant kits that are available um, uh, from a number of different manufacturers. So uh, we've got the Victrix, the Aventine, the Warlord Games, the Ajima, and the First Core. Uh, and for my mind, there's hardly any other scene on an ancient battle battlefield that could have inspired the same amount of awe and dread as the prospect of facing up to a charging enemy elephant. Whether they were armoured or unarmoured, they were often fortified with uh, alcoholic drinks beforehand to get them into a, a rage. And uh, to think of just standing there with a flimsy sword or spear, little shield, having one of these massive beasts bearing down on you just uh, is something hard to contemplate. So uh, fascinating to me, obviously beautiful animals and um, can be painted up to look uh, quite amazing on the battlefield. So we'll go on and I shall do a little review of each of those main contenders for uh, the greatest war elephants of the ancient era. Thanks. Right, so here we have the Victrix main elephant sprue. And as you can see, there's a couple of different uh, options for the left side of the elephant and then just the one for the right side. Uh, you've got a couple of different uh, trunks for the elephant up here and then uh, some little tusks um, to be attached at the back. You've got the ears to go on, um, some nice uh, cases with uh, multiple spears there, and the howdah is fairly easily connected and fits very well onto the back. It's got this nice textured uh, timber floor for that. Uh, and then you've obviously got a couple of the Roman sort of scutums and uh, uh, the more Hellenistic or, um, or Carthaginian rounded hoplon style shields there there is then also the crew sprue sprue crew uh, which comes with what is the six standing guys and the one riding the elephant at the front so you've got two in liner thorax there you've got two in uh flowing cloth and you've got two in the um, chain mail lorica hamata you have quite a few head options nice um Ones that would be very appropriate for successor um, crew. You've also got uh, ones that are very much designed for Roman. Uh, you've got the Numidian heads here. And um, I guess these ones would be the ones designed for the Carthaginians as well. So covering all bases there. Uh, you've got multiple spears, small, and then you've got this large uh, two-handed one. Uh, for a guy leaning over the howdah, uh, thrusting at some unfortunate infantryman at the, on the ground. Also one round shield. So you get one of the crew sprues, two of the main elephant sprues, and that obviously enables you to make two different elephants and have two halves left over for whatever you feel so inclined for. Right, on to the next one. Right, next up are the first core elephants. Uh, they make quite a good range of different elephants um, and um, some interesting poses. They're good in that you can buy them individually. You can buy uh, them without the crew or with crew. Uh, so have a look at their website. They've got a very, very good range of different armoured elephants, unarmoured elephants, Indian, uh, successor, etc. You can see that look absolutely fantastic they come with the base um, they do have uh, metal um, bits of the trunk and uh, and the tusks that just have to be attached but otherwise no assembly nice um, timber floor again for the big generous howdy you can fit quite a few troops in there certainly bigger than the victrix one or the um, uh, a bit bigger than the war games um, warlord games one as well you got this guy the cool pose about to stomp some very unlikely, unlucky enemy there. So that's a good side of it. The only downside of it is actually the, whilst the sculpting is superb, the casting was uh, pretty poor. They had a whole lot of pits in them, a lot of um, holes right throughout that I've spent a fair bit of time putting up and sanding back uh, all over, particularly on the bodies of the elephants. Uh, and also they were covered in flashing which had to be carved off more than just uh, scraped off 
So a bit of carving, a bit of sanding, a bit of putting to get them. And then I've uh, primed this with a, a neutral grey to get it to this point where it's ready for painting. So there is a bit of work to be done to prepare them. I think once you have, though, uh, you know, you're able to put together some really beautiful looking elephants. So I'll do a stage two of this video at some point and I'll post my completed versions of these two guys. So I'm going to do them probably both as Seleucid elephants, I think. And I think they'll turn out great, but as I say, they just need a bit of work to get them ready for preparation. I should say it's possible that I was just a bit unlucky with the two elephants I've got. That the individual casting was not great in their case. Maybe it's better most times. Um, on to the next one. Right, next up are the Aventine um, Indian elephants. Um, they are resin. Uh, predominantly, so certainly the elephant, uh, some of the, well, all the accessory bits are, are metal, uh, including the tusks and a whole lot of bow cases there and the, the riders. Um, very nice uh, model, not a lot of cleaning up to do with this guy. Um, here's his riders, which are also excellent sort of figures. Uh, Various poses, aiming, aiming their bows and arrows, and they sit quite easily on top. There's no howder in this case. Legs widely spread, so they can fit on the top of the elephant there. Um, and just a few little things to be attached: the tail there, the tusks, uh, a bell somewhere here, nice little bell. So they're very good. I'll just show you the completed version. So I've got two of them uh, with all their riders. And I've done one of them up so far. Planning to have them as a little scene with the two of them together. But this is the completed one with the four riders on there. So I think uh, they're lovely. A bit more simple, I guess, than the first core one. Sort of fairly standard pose for the elephant and uh, and unarmored but nonetheless um, beautiful beautiful guy so that is Aventine right next up is the Warlord Games uh, elephant um, but before I get into that one I'll just read a letter from uh, one of uh, one of the supporters of the channel who's written in uh, this is uh, Mr. Genghis K from Ulaanbaatar uh, he writes in to say Hey, great southern miniature man, how short are you? I ride war horse over you. I shoot arrows into your crumpled, puny body. Oh, well, thanks, Genghis. Thanks for getting in contact. Um, and uh, just for the record, uh, I'm actually fairly average height. The miniature man was in reference to my interest in miniatures, not the fact that I'm some sort of uh, homo sapien florentii. <laughs> um, and in terms of uh, your interest, I do have some of the excellent um, Fireforge Step Warriors uh, plastic, which I will do some sort of review of at a later date. But uh, yeah, thanks again, Genghis. Getting on to the Warlord Games Elephant. Now I've obviously finished this guy some time back, so I'll give you a look at the finished product. It is sort of resin body with metal legs, metal crest uh, from memory metal trunk and tusks so there's a fair bit of metal and then all the figures that come with it the riders are all metal as well so uh, as with some of the warlord games there's a bit of a interesting combination of metal and resin all combined which i think works quite well it is an excellent elephant from memory there wasn't a huge amount of cleanup that was required to get it ready for painting uh, it's a little bit more expensive per unit than some of the other ones um, but otherwise uh, I think it's great can't fault it in any other respect so Warlord Games Elephant single guy in the box thumbs up for that one on to Ajima right last up is the Ajima Elephant uh, this is the simplest one you can get that's called the Bareback Elephant uh, they do have four Elephants in their range, um, various sort of complexities. They've got a war elephant with a tower with quite a few figures. Uh, they have Hannibal 
riding his famous elephant called uh, Syrian and they've got another war elephant with riders so a few options I've gone for the simplest one which I understand is probably the most uh, historically accurate for Carthaginians uh, I've made that little um, blanket for him at the back and I've put a different rider on the cool thing with this one is you can get it comes with a sort of fairly standard trunk but then you can get this elephant of victim as a an additional kind of accessory you can put on instead of the standard trunk so it's got a Roman uh, velite is getting the life absolutely crushed out of him which uh, I thought was pretty cool I haven't quite finished the whole scene I'm going to uh, obviously put some proper basing material have his shield and some spears sort of smash on the ground I think that's going to look excellent so in terms of the quality of the elephant uh, he's not bad he's very simple um, and I think all the interest in this is really from that uh, guy at the front getting squeezed to death. Uh, the rider is actually not the standard one that comes with this kit either. I've just changed that over. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to look excellent, I think, once it's all done. So that's my review. I really like all those elephants. Um, I don't know which one I would say is my favourite. I guess the... Oh, hang on, I haven't done the Victrix, have I? Sorry, back in a sec with Victrix. Right, so obviously I had done the unboxing of the Victrix kit, but I haven't shown you some of the completed ones. So this is uh, one done up as a Ptolemaic um, elephant, male bull elephant. You might be able to tell. <laughs> He's very nice. Very nice guy. I'm happy with him. And then I've got another one done as a Carthaginian elephant. I've actually done a bit more customization here. I've made that outer out of um, uh, just some little sticks and um, put on the chains just to add a bit of something different. Uh, there he is. Do his ear. I think I did his ears a bit bigger. Yeah, I did the ears standing out more, sort of charging, and also that uh, helmeted um, uh, piece on his top of his head there. That's uh, custom made as well. So there you go. That's my various elephants. I think they're all excellent. The Victrix is probably the gold standard, I guess. Um, I think the first core, once they're done, are probably going to be my favourites, to be honest. Uh, and then you've got the Adjima with the interesting pose. Uh, and the Warlord Games is great. So it's hard to tell between them, really. They're all... They are all cool. It just depends what you're after. Um, so if you want to click subscribe press the bell button all that every time you click it gives you as much chance of protection from COVID as Sinovax does so uh, carry on thanks see ya